Okay, so we're going to be putting up our photo wall. We used to have one up here before the epic flood. Um, so I've just been working on a layout of what's going up. Now obviously these frames are not all filled because we're changing it out a little bit because, you know, our family has grown and Oscar wasn't really represented on the wall. So um, what I did was started with the frame that I want in the middle, which Matt has already put uh, toothpaste on so he knows where to hang it up. But anyway, so there's the one for the middle. And then I just kind of built out from there. So we had some similarly sized frames um, that were like 8 by 10 so I kind of did those along the top and the bottom and then I filled them in with the little ones. There's a few things on our wall that had to go back up. So um, this is one of those things. Uh, it was my nanny's and it was always in her bathroom growing up and so it's just a nice memory I have of her. And then these ones at the top, you can see that Olivia's school picture is there but Oh wait, where are the other children? Non-existent. So, uh, when we get their school pictures for this year, then they'll all have a school picture up on this wall. And then there's just like a little picture of Elliot when he was quite young. And then there's just a few nice ones that have nice sayings. So, um, anyway, that's what we're starting with. And then here's our blank wall. So what we did was we measured out the couch <laughs> that we have um, tentatively ordered. And then we marked between, so where the end of the couch will sit and where it starts on the wall, like the, the height of it. And then we just kind of found the halfway point between this corner and this end and the ceiling and where the couch will lay. And that's where we're going to put the, the one that's in the middle and then we'll kind of build out from there. So this was that middle one. We don't have any pictures in it, but uh... I'll give you a little tip when you're putting this up. If you put toothpaste right where the uh, the nails are going to go, you can hang, you know, get it all set where you want it. Push it against the wall. It'll leave two, in this case, two toothpaste marks, and you know exactly where to put your nail. Works almost every single time. So if you have one of these frames that's wiggling all around and you can't quite get it straight, you can level it up, put a piece of tape on the bottom, and then just stick it on with that, and then it won't move. things are not lining up like perfectly that's kind of the, the the beauty of it or the creative aspect of it is that it doesn't have to be perfect so you want everything to be like level um, but I like when some of the frames overlap and some of them don't like like I don't want it all in a straight line because that's not really what a photo wall is to me so don't ever worry about what the back of your frame looks like. You're not going to see it. And I'm not sure if you can even see this. Oh, there's a staple there. See that staple sticking up? That's how I hang things sometimes. I don't know how I came across that. But if you hammer in one of those staplers from a staple gun, it works fine. As long as you get it in far enough. So right now it's looking a little bit like a hot mess. So I say commit yourself to putting the rest of the, the wall up before you decide to just take it all completely down. Give it a chance. Okay, so it was currently like right here, which kind of doesn't line up perfectly and so it just really looks messy. So we were thinking we'll pop this up a little higher and put something in between here. Like a dagger or something. <laughs> yeah, dagger. Feel free to use any kind of pictures, even ones of old Commodore computers or whatever. Okay, so we've got it all done. A few of them need to uh, have some tape behind them to straighten them out. 
Looking good. And the finishing touch, a spoon. You don't need to just put picture frames. You can put other things. Like a spoon. Look.